as we move into the, the winter months, um, cattle lice become very, um, very common. They are a cold weather loving insect and numbers increase. So if you see animals that are, are rubbing on fence posts or there's hair on uh, fence lines, that's a sign you may have a cattle louse infestation. So what you need to do is bring a couple animals in that are suspect, put them in the chute like we have here today, and do a what we call a two-handed uh, hair part. And what essentially I'm doing is I'm parting the hair down to the skin and looking for cattle lice. And in this situation, we're gonna be looking for two species. We're gonna be looking for the little blue and the, lo uh, and the long nose, which are blood-sucking uh, lice. And what we do, we look at several locations. We'll do the right and left cheek. And we'll do around the eyes because it's very convenient to, to look at the, uh, the animal at these locations. And we'll do several, uh, several locations within the muzzle area so that we're very thorough in looking at the possible infe uh, infection sites. The, um, the, rate in, the rate of infest infestation of cattle lice goes on a scale from one to 10. One to five equals a low population of lice. Six to 10 is a moderate population and over 10 lice per square inch is considered heavy. And you, if you have lice numbers uh, averaging over 10 per square inch, you need to treat uh, as quickly as you can. Um, the infestation rates at uh, one to five can be monitored over time. Uh, with good nutrition, you may not even have to treat, but if there's a lot of stressors out there like there has been this winter where you got a super cold conditions and the nutrition may not be uh, as, as you would normally present, you probably would want to go ahead and make a, a treatment uh, at that time also for that infestation level. Uh, six to 10 would certainly, uh, in my estimation, warrant a treatment given very stressful conditions like we've had this past uh, past season. So this is how you uh, look on the, uh, the uh, face, the, uh, the left and right cheek, and we'll also probably take a look right here on the pole area, and we're looking now for another species, which would be the chewing louse. It will uh, infest areas here along the neck, along with the other two sucking species. So we'll do a two-handed hair part like you see uh, what I'm doing right now. And we'll check this side out too. And uh, these are good locations to, uh, to do the evaluation. And then uh, another location we're gonna move to here in just a second is gonna be the top line and the withers. And we're gonna do that uh, here in just a second because that's a very good, uh, location to look for chewing lice. They kind of tend to be in the withers, shoulder area, and on the top line. And uh, the uh, chewing louse is gonna be a little different color than the sucking lice. It's gonna be kind of a reddish color and population numbers can increase very dramatically with that particular species because it has the capacity for asexual reproduction. So numbers can get very, very high very quickly. And when we're also doing this evaluation, we're also looking for lice eggs, or commonly called nits. And uh, I don't see any nits here today, but uh, they will accompany the, the lice. And uh, so it's important to look at several locations here on the top line determine if you have an infestation. Now, if you do have an infestation that warrants treatment, we will uh, demonstrate how you properly apply a louse aside and 
the application method is going to be determined by what's stated on the product label. So you want to follow the product label very, very closely to um, get the maximum effect from that treatment. So these are some of the steps. I suggest that uh, you uh, use uh, uh, some protective gloves like uh, uh, a nitrile glove when you're doing this, especially under cold conditions. And if you can, do it under sunlight or use an auxiliary light source that will help illuminate the, the hair coat. It's a little bit more difficult with the uh, darker haired uh, cattle, but uh, the auxiliary light will help illuminate those, uh, those lice species. So now we're going to demonstrate how you apply a product, and in this case, we're going to be using a product that has a, a dosage of 3 mils per 100 pound body weight. This animal here uh, in the chute weighs a little over 1,000 pounds, so we're going to give the maximum dose of uh, 30 mils. So I will do that right now. And here again, I must emphasize that you need to follow the label instructions and the product we're using today indicates that we need to apply a small amount to the face of the animal. So I'm going to do that right now. Just kind of want to get it down the face. And then we will go back and apply it from the head all the way to the tail to get the maximum effect. And many times when we have uh, problems or experiencing, experiencing control failure, sometimes we don't follow the label and that's where we can get into trouble at times. So these are the steps that we use to identify cattle lice uh, here in Nebraska.